Hello, Lacamas Leopards, it's Mrs. Mueller, and I'm welcoming you to our monthly character assembly. Now, it's a little different because we don't get to be together in our commons, doing our roll call, welcoming our families, but we still want to celebrate. We're going to spend some time in this video to recognize our month of March Character Trait Award winners with Unique You and all of their unique character traits that make them so special. And we're going to also introduce this month's character trait, which is helpfulness. There are so many ways that we can be helpful. And in days like this, it's even more important. So there are big ways and little ways, but I guarantee you, whether it's a big way to be helpful or a little way, it's going to make a difference. Some big ways, I have teachers who have been busy sewing masks for our um, nurses and doctors who are working and they have been shipping those out. I also have staff members who have taken meals over to people, put them on their front door. I've been sharing some meals. Any ways that I can be helpful, but I'm also helpful around my home. I'm making sure that I'm keeping things picked up so that our home feels like a good place to be since we have to be here all the time. I'm hearing outside these beautiful birds and I'm thinking I might be helpful by feeding some birds today too. So Lacamas Leopards, I hope you enjoy our remote assembly. Let's hear it for Lacamas. Lacamas Leopards are respectful, responsible, safe, and kind. Hello, Lacamas Leopards. I cannot think of a more unique way to recognize our March character award winners than from my very own family room with my dog, Langston. We're gonna start with kindergarten and we're gonna recognize Logan Anderson for using creativity in his learning, Weston Meek for his positive attitude and smile each day, Cole Riley for his creative building brain, Zoe Gonzalez for her authentic way of entertaining, Asher Vidmar Beck for being a super scientist, Mason Coker for his creativity, and Logan Milardo for his creativity. Well done, kindergarten. In first grade, Emily Hannon for being a kind and caring friend, Tryson Wise for having an awesome attitude and work ethic, Ruby Anderson for her ability to memorize, Logan Celeste for his fantastic imagination and the unique talent of martial arts. Nate Madison for always forgiving others and being a fantastic swimmer and ukulele player. Nathan Coyer for being such a hard worker and Blake Jones for being friendly to everyone. In second grade, Lux Dexter for being artistic. Chandler Erickson for her perseverance. Abigail B for her leadership. Matthew P for being curious, Max Q for being creative, Jackson Riley for being creative, Carson Clary for being honest, and Faith Knoppel for being honest. In third grade, Jameson Cobb for being artistic and a comedian, David K for being artistic and brave, Trevor N for being a fearless outdoorsman, Nico for being a creative thinker, Aria for also being a creative thinker, Ember for being kind, and Jace Williams for having a great imagination. In fourth grade, Carter Clary, great job having a positive attitude. Melanie Pratt, well done on your persistence. Arthur Gerald for being positive. Madison Pratt for being positive. Stiv Dexter for his creativity, and Thomas Insko for his hard work ethic. Last but not least, in fifth grade, we are recognizing Adiv for his inquisitive problem-solving skills, Odin for his humor and penmanship, Ronan, who's a one-of-a-kind kid and does a great job and has a fantastic sense of humor, Skylar, because she is creative to the max, Isabella Gilmartin for being insightful and intuitive, and Ella Powell for her attention to detail and the quality of her work. Well done, Leopards. I am excited to recognize you this month, and we will make sure that your certificates and your charms are mailed out to you. Take care, everyone.
gonna make some soup. What kind of soup? Are we making chicken noodle soup? No, helpful soup. What's helpful soup? Do I get to eat it? It's everything you need to be helpful. It makes you more helpful. Here's what you need. I would add two and a half cups of kindness. Three teaspoons of a can-do attitude because a can-do attitude always helps you get the job done. Add three cups of thoughtfulness. To make helpful soup, you need five cups of caring by helping out around the house. One tablespoon of hard work because you have to put an effort to be helpful. to be able to connect with you in this very special assembly. I'm also very fortunate to introduce to you a very special guest who exemplifies the character trait being helpful. She had of course hoped to come to our school to meet you in person, but without being able to do that, she recorded a video just for Lacamas. Mrs. Fry is an exceptional person. She graduated from the University of South Alabama and from the University of Washington. She worked as a special education teacher with kids from second grade all the way to sixth grade. She was a university professor and a life skills coordinator. Today she works for the Washington Education Association on an inclusionary practices team that trains teachers all over the state. She also devotes time to really putting herself forth for exemplifying that character trait of being helpful through service in Zambia, Africa. It is there that she devotes her time to serving others, to working with kids in orphanages, with kids in schools, and for the Special Hope Network. I was blown away by how big her journey is in helping others, but really inspired by how simple she makes it for all of us to be helpful too. I hope you are just as inspired. Please give a warm welcome to Mrs. Fry. Hi, my name is Rebecca Fry, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about your character trait of the month, helping others and service. I was asked to speak with you because I have been doing a lot of service in my life over the past few years. I've actually gotten the opportunity to go volunteer in Zambia, which is in Africa. So I've gotten the opportunity to go over there and work with kids with disabilities in special schools with their families. Uh, I've gotten an opportunity to go volunteer in orphanages and with other school sites, community schools, to really get to know the people and figure out how I can help and serve them any way I possibly can. So in thinking about this word serving, the definition of service is helping others when our actions help others. And I started to think about what do I do to help others? How do I even know what people need? And so I realized that to learn how to serve others, I've had to step back and I have to watch others and I have to see what they need and I have to listen to what they need before I know I'm able to support them. So that's what I do and that's what I challenge you to do as well. Like I said, when I go over to Zambia, I get to work with these families and with these kids. I get to go out to the orphanages and visit kids who don't have parents, who don't live with parents, and I get to connect with them. When I go to the orphanages, I spend a lot of my time just hugging the kids, listening to their stories. They love to sing songs for me. And so my service for them is just being present and being someone who cares about them, being someone who wants to pay attention to them and just fully giving them my attention. Sometimes I go out to the uh, schools way out in, they're called compounds. So way, way, way out down dirt roads, we have to go up long, long, long way to get there. A lot of these schools don't even have books. They don't have paper. They don't have pencils. And so I've been to Zambia three times. And this past trip, I went back January of this year, 2020. I was able to bring school supplies with me that people had donated. 
And so one of the ways I got to serve, you'll see pictures of this, is I got to bring school supplies to kids who had never in their lives actually seen a book, who had never written with a pencil, who had never used paper. And these kids are up to age 14 and 15. So they were so excited. They were so very excited. And I just looked, I, I talked to them and um, they had a teacher who could help interpret because they speak a different language than we do. But it was just me getting to know them and spend time with them and figure out how to serve them. I also help out serving for the Night to Shine Dance, which is something that happens around the entire world. And the way that I serve is I help with paperwork, I help organize volunteers. And so for two years in a row, we've hosted the Zambia Night to Shine Dance for adults with disabilities. And so I go over there and I volunteer all of my time and I just ask them, what do you need? How can I serve? How can I help? So when thinking about what service is, what you do to serve, I challenge you to think how you can serve people in your family, your neighborhood, your school. How can you help? One thing I love to think about and I love to live by is the motto, leave it better than you found it. <clears throat> leave it better than you found it. That could look like just picking up trash off the ground. You see a piece of trash, you're walking past, you pick it up off the ground. That could look like holding the door open for someone. We don't have to think of really complex ways to serve others, to help others. We can just look around us and notice, be aware, put our phones down, <laughs> right? Put our phones down so we can see what's going on in the world around us. So the other key to service though that we really need to think about is service is doing something for someone and not expecting anything in return. When I go to Zambia, I go and I pay for my trip. I volunteer my time. I do not expect anything from anyone while I am there. My whole goal is to do the best I can and help the most people that I possibly can in the time that I get to spend while I'm there. And when I come back from Zambia, I love to tell people about the amazing, amazing Zambians over there, about the incredible kids, about my opportunities that I get, my opportunities that bring me amazing joy and happiness, getting to go over there and serve. It's not like being here. It's very, very different. But looking for ways to give back, looking for ways that you can serve and you can help people around you in your communities. There's so many ways to serve. So I want to challenge you to get creative with your family. How can you help your family? If you see your mom or your dad or your siblings trying to do something and they're struggling, help them. Ask them, how can I help you? Sometimes, like I said, it's, it's very, very simple. Maybe putting a pair of shoes away that maybe weren't your shoes. Maybe it's looking back and making sure you cleaned up after yourself, after you've left an area. That's providing service. And I can tell you, you may not think that, wow, I, 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 don't, I don't know how that would make me happy. I don't know how that would bring me joy. But the money, the gifts, the, uh, the rewards that we think we need in life, those aren't what bring us happiness. Those aren't what bring us joy. What truly brings you joy is serving others. And once you start doing it, you'll see, you'll see, and you'll want to share that joy with others. So while we're, we're working on this character trait of helping others, take a look at these pictures of how I've been helping others. I want you to see the kids. I want you to see their faces. These are kids, like I said, they don't have toys. They don't, their families don't have cars. They don't have doors on their houses. And these are people who love to help others. They bring such joy and it brings me joy to be able to help them. Alrighty, so I challenge you this month, the month of April, what are you going to do to help others? What are you going to do to serve? I know you can do it. Alrighty, thank you so much for letting me spend this time with you. Hi Lacamas. This month, we are talking about ways to be helpful. Think about your families and community, different ways you can help them out. At home, you can help cook meals, help clean up, help look after your siblings. And then in our communities, there are lots of great ways to give back, be helpful, and spread some kindness during these times. 
One way we're gonna try to do that is by sending letters to our helpers. Now this means think about those people who help us in our community. That could be firefighters, policemen, doctors, nurses, grocery store workers, delivery people. Sending them a picture or a letter of encouragement saying you appreciate them is a great way to spread kindness and be helpful. Now, if you choose to do this, please take a picture with your note and send it to either your teacher or Mrs. Mueller so we can encourage others in our school to continue spreading the kindness and being helpful. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, Lacamas Leopards. It's Mr. Magner here with a super special Spotcha update. I'm here with my very special helpers, Lola. Hi. Nika. Hi. And AJ. Hey. And here's what we're gonna do. We've got all the Spotcha winners right here in this purple Lacamas Leopard Balloon. Can you see all those names? You guys doing all your great things? So here we go, we're gonna pop these, and we're gonna pop this balloon, and then we're gonna reveal the names. If you are one of the winners from this balloon, you are going to get in the mail a very special gift uh, from all of us here at Lacamas Lake Elementary. So here we go. Girls, can you count down? Three, two, one. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, go get them. They went all the way in the garage. Okay, so while my two helpers start collecting them, I'm gonna read the first name. There's one way over there too. We should have 10. Okay. Nice work, Nika, here we go. So we're gonna see if we have 10 as we go. And the first winner, can you put those in my hand, please? The first winner is Logan from Miss Boyd's class. The next winner is Rebecca from Miss D'Ambrosi's class. The next winner is Dylan from Miss Clary's class. There we go. I want to start opening these up for me. Sure. Next winner is Kate from Miss Waite's class. Kate from Miss Waite. The next winner, Madison from Miss Kohler's room. Jason from Miss McHenry's room. Next, Victor from Mrs. Woodson's room. And Ella from Mrs. Williams' room. And the last one <gasps> from Mr. Wright's room, Kellen. I know that we're missing one. And the final winner, which we can't find, hopefully we'll find it someday, Nick Rafferty from Mr. Magner's room. I know that because I wrote them and I put them in the balloon. I hope you guys are doing well. Remember, Lacamas Leopards are responsible, respectful, safe, and kind. Peace.